In this video, I asked more than 200 people what their favorite main level is, and here are 10 of the best official levels in Geometry Dash. Theory of Everything is kinda mid in my opinion. It's not bad, but not anything remotely awesome. It's only top 10 after all, which means there are 9 levels that vast majority finds better. Many people find Finger Dash good because of its song, since who doesn't want to listen to Trump Buckets? The level is also very climactic with the gameplay speeding up as you go, along with the song intensity, movements and pulses. Geometrical Dominator has very visually pleasing decoration with many quirky and original mechanics. Whether it's the memory part or activating crystals, it's very fun to learn and pull off. Club Step is not only the favorite level of 15 respondents, but it's also the favorite level from the game developer himself. The level has rather forgiving memory and difficult chip parts, which make up for the perfect demon introduction. In Hexagon Force you have this rather duel, which is very satisfying to pull off and it makes you feel like a badass in this regard. Electroman Adventures is a nice introduction to the insane difficulty, because it's pretty easy and forgiving, but this reason also makes the level boring, so it's up to the player whether they value enjoyment or difficulty more. Electrodynamics flows insanely well, especially the ship parts, which are fast and intense. The level is decently challenging, yet still not annoying at the same time. Blast processing has its infamous b which is also the reason why 6 people like the level. Other than that, the level flows nicely and it's probably the least annoying, and choke point heavy rope to level overall. Deadlocked is my personal favorite drop top level and a lot of other people agree as well. Its decoration is very nice for the time and the gameplay flows incredibly nicely, which is also noticeable in Invisible Deadlocked which consists of synced and natural click patterns. As a memory levels enthusiast I can understand why people enjoy this level so much. Theory of Everything 2 feels very satisfying to pull off when fully learned. There's also a nice usage of reverse portals which makes parts like this funky and challenging. Overall the level consists of every skill set which is equally balanced, and that's why I think TOE2 is truly for everyone. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my channel since I'd really appreciate if you hit 5000 subscribers before the end of 2022. Make sure to check out the worst main levels as well, and I hope to see you in my next video, bye bye!